with a foot tap. Are you excited for the costume? Yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> Seven-year-old Killian Updike and his mom, Sarah, are more than ready to see his new costume. He's been looking forward to seeing his costume, and I'm looking forward to seeing it, too. This year, it's all about Mario, and May We Help is making it happen. Our logo has got the smile on it. If it brings a smile on their face, that's all I need. Delivering the costumes is always a special moment that everyone looks forward to. It takes about a week of work, but well worth the wait. <laughs> I think that's a definite scream of approval from Killian. <laughs> the team carefully sketched out the design and fitted it for Killian's chair. His Mario Kart costume is ready to roll. <laughs> We've got it upstairs in his room, ready to go with the mustache. You might not be keen on the mustache, but I think he'll enjoy the car, car part of the costume. Killian is Sarah and her husband's youngest child. He has two other siblings. Halloween's been different for us because his condition has uh, deteriorated over the years. He was born typical. As a baby and young toddler, he could walk, talk, and move. But by the time he turned three, his mom noticed changes. Tests are ongoing, but no one can figure out his condition or a diagnosis. Until this becomes your world, you don't realize how challenging everyday things can be. Killian understands everything happening around him and expresses his thoughts and feelings the best he can. No one hands you a book saying here's how to navigate all these little things, including trick-or-treating. May We Help has been there for the Updikes every step of the way. They even designed a special seat so Killian could safely sit on the floor for family game night. He never had the chance to, to learn to ride a bike. We went to May We Help and lo and behold, they had one sitting right there and uh, I grabbed that really fast and, <laughs> and he got his first, first ever bike ride. Yeah. With his cool new costume, Killian gets to not only trick or treat on Halloween, but he's going to a special party on Sunday. May We Help is celebrating their fifth annual Halloween festival. There's about 21 pe uh, kids that we did costumes for this year. They'll all be there at the Halloween festival at May We Help on Sunday, and they'll all be debuting their costumes. Um, so it's really fun for them. But about, I don't know, about 250 people will come, um, some with disabilities, some without, but everybody will be dressed up and having fun. And when it comes to saying the all-important Halloween phrase, Here you go. Hey, yeah. The Updikes got it covered. Hey, you got it. You did it yourself. We continue to grab these moments. Like I said, you always try to capture any moments of happiness. So um, despite not knowing where this is going, we are going to have our Halloween trick-or-treating. We're going to celebrate all the holidays we want to celebrate. And uh, we, it just has to look different. Um, and we just uh, find different ways of, of getting our joy. I guess we need another one that says, it's-a me. A smile that says it all. Elise Underwood, Spectrum News.